Hello guys, in this week video I'll show you how uh, to create alternate templates on, on different section of your of your store. Um, you can do them for uh, pages, products, uh, collections and blogs. Let's assume you have a particular product that you don't want to show the price. Um, so let's see how we will do it. Go in your admin panel then go in online store click on teams pick the template you're using right now click on the three dots right here edit HTML and um, open first the the regular product template which is in the template section So this is what we're normally using for our product. And if you go in the admin in the products, you will have here on the right, the different templates uh, that you have inside your team. Um, small note is that if you have no alternate templates, this will not show here. So make sure you create one and then you will be able to select which, which template to use. Um, so go back over here click on add new template you can create a template for for all of those um, let's go and pick a product what's the name you want to give it let's say no price create so it did copy what we have in the other one Let's just double check. Yeah, it's pretty, it looks the same. If not, you can just uh, select all with command A, select all, copy and paste. So in this one, as we said, we want to remove, uh, we want to remove the price. Let's just inspect. Let's inspect the price here and it's called product price. So let's search for that. Product price, we have it right here. Bum, 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 bum. So you can remove it, you can comment it out if you want. The way to comment it in, uh, in liquid, it's like this. So you open the comment and you're ending the comment uh, and that should remove it. Let's just save. Now go back to your products. Make sure you refresh. And now select the no price, save. Let's refresh this one here too. And voila. So you can do the same for any other element on uh, on on your alternate template uh, if you don't want to to show the description or or the price or the add to cart or or whatever you you want to do you can you can easily do it this way and you can do the same for 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 a page and uh, for a collection so make sure you use the same uh, the, the, the the same procedure just add a new template select if you want to create a diff an alternate template for for your blog for your for your page uh, collection um, you can even have it for index but that's a little bit more uh, more complicated to to get access to the ones you're going to use the most are collection product page and uh, and blog or or art article and the way to change them same same logic if you go in, in in pages you always have here on the right a choice of templates you can use collections is the same thing in the right here you can you can select what you have let's just see if we if i have something for blog Yeah, 
event for article uh, and, and most of the themes you get being free or paid you will have normally an options uh, for the alternate templates to use inside your 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 team um, and it should be the same for the blog manage blogs yeah so that's pretty much it it's not it's not that complicated um, if, if it is for you let me know ask me you can always ask me a question in the comments below or you can reach out to me using uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, Skype, and uh, and my email. So uh, don't be shy. Also, please subscribe. Uh, I'm releasing videos like this each week. Like that, you won't miss out on new content that is coming out. Thank you. Have a great day.